Hey guys, Tropic Girl here. Today we're going to be looking at the new goat installation that we built. They have a super nice new house. It is lifted off the ground and I will explain later why we did that. We'll be meeting all the goats, some of which are a lot tamer than others. And I'll be explaining exactly what the process will be within the next month about how we're going to tame them down for when their babies arrive. Because within a month, our two adult females will be having their babies. We do have two very tame ones. This is Kiefer from our last goat video. So let's just get right into it, see the new goat house, talk about what projects we're going to be doing with the goats. So here are the four goats I own. That is Nani Biryani. There's Miyagi Bengali, who is also a bottle baby. There's Kayla Kebab. And then right behind me, who just shadows me everywhere I go, is Kiefer Alagouche, who is a little baby boy. He's a bottle baby, so he's super tame. They are getting tamed down with carrots. Usually they don't let me pet them at all, but recently I have been trying to give them more treats, which has been really helping to tame them down. So this is a new goat house that we built for them. So the entire structure is raised off of the ground by one meter, which allows for us to actually go under here and rake up all of the feces and any leftover grasses that the goats are producing and we use that as compost. So they have a ramp up on each side so they can actually access them like so. And this is open for them so they can go up and down into the shade or if they want to go sleep anytime they want. At night we do close them up because there are pumas and we have recently seen the pumas very close to where we keep our goats and pigs. So all the animals do currently get locked up at night. There's Miyagi. So the floor is designed so the pellets that actually come out when they poop can go through these gaps in the floor and then it's a lot easier to collect them underneath for compost and goat compost is actually one of the best ones you can use so this is where they sleep they've got a food trow in here and they also have their mineral block in here hanging up this is completely closed at night so that no predators can get in here basically so one of the specifications I wanted for this goat house was the doors I wanted farm doors like this so that we could actually keep them inside if we had to work with them, if we had to do any vaccinations or actually even milk them in here. So there are two identical enclosures like this that are raised off the floor. Uh, here is Kyla again. And then there's Nani, who is the most skittish adult female. They're both pregnant currently. So here's the second enclosure. It is exactly the same as the other one, just a mirror. Here in the middle, there is a storage area up here for hay and any other feed that we might be storing so that they don't get into it. And then here in the middle area, we have our wood chipper, which we actually use to chop up sugar cane and any other kind of grasses or feed that we're gonna feed the goats, pigs, or cattle. They also have this automatic watering system, which, will automatically refill with clean water whenever they drink out of it. We wash this every day as well. And then we also have a food trowel out here where they get fresh cut grass every day, sometimes mixed with molasses or a little bit of feed. So the goat houses are kind of in this cliffy area. There are natural rocks in here, trees. We made them a little platform so they can climb up here. Most of the time these guys are just free roaming. The only time we lock them up is at night. Otherwise a puma might get them because we have been seeing signs of a puma recently and there has been a sighting this past week. And some of these little guys would just be completely snatched up by a puma like Kiefer here. He would just be a quick midnight snack for them. Here they are, they're all eating their feed. They get a little bit of feed every day right now because they're in their kind of final trimester of pregnancy. 
they were bred with a bower so the cross will be a bower with nubian this will be a really good dual purpose goat for milk and meat production and will be actually much hardier than just a purebred in this hot climate so hopefully within a month these guys will be having their babies and then producing milk which we will be turning into cheese and other products it is going to be a learning experience for me because i've never done that before and hopefully by then they'll be a lot tamer we're going to continue hanging out with them giving them some treats every day thanks for watching if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe make sure to check us out on instagram where we post a lot more frequently and we post reels about how we actually set up for videos like this uh, where we get our produce and just a little bit more about our daily life on the farm and in our greenhouse i'll see you guys next time